Hello YouTube. Uh, picked up a new machine here not too long ago. Actually, uh, this was in trade for another machine that I had, and I'm not going to go into too many details about that. But uh, this is this is how I ended up with this. Actually, didn't spend any money. So um, this is Gorgar 1979 Williams. <clears throat> this was the first talking pinball machine, and um, just real quick, show you the machine. It's a nice glare there. I haven't really done anything to it other than get it running. We got the machine for 450, and uh, it really wasn't running at all. The lights were out because somebody had converted. They had converted all the general illumination from AC to DC, and the rectifier they had put in to do that had gone out. So fix that. Also put in a new power board and a new sound board to fix those, a couple issues there. And now the last big issue to fix is the displays. And as you can see, they're not fully functional. So I'm going to open it up and show you what's going on. So the back glass is lifted out and uh, when you come in here to the master display unit. This chip right here, boy that baby's hot. I mean it's really hot so there's something going wrong there. I don't know if it's just the chip or not but I'm gonna take a chance that it is and I actually ordered replacement. So today, if I can find where I put it, and of course I can't, there it is, got a package and since my repair attempts usually do not go well I thought I would share this fun moment with everybody that watches my stupid videos so I'm gonna take this apart and maybe fix it maybe not one last thing real quick while I'm here I can quit tripping over my cord So in here, these are my new boards, that's my new power board, very nice. This is not a rotten dog, I know a lot of people will buy those. This is made by Pinball PCB. It is very, very nice. I can actually switch to see what the voltage is coming in and out at any given time. There's the new sound board, my speech board was fine, and then the main board and MPU were fine. However, I do want to eventually change those all out for the brand new boards. It's just nice new solid technology and there's no sense in not switching to it if I can. So let's get back on this display and see what happens if we change chip. Okay, so here's, I bought two of them and I actually checked the number off the schematic before I ordered them. So I'm going to pull it out, and this chip here is actually socketed. I did pull the display out, and so I'm going to see if I can get this out of the socket nice and easy, and pop a new one in. And it's actually coming up really easy. So obviously this is a part that's expected to go out on occasion. Or it wouldn't have a socket. And there we go. Hold one out, make sure you get the orientation right. And line everything up. Which is always the fun part. And 
and seat it down in there good and tight. And now I'll put it all back together and you can see how well my luck goes on this particular repair. Well, here we go. Everything's back in place. Fingers crossed. I uh, hope my luck's better than normal. Three, two, one. Did not fix the problem. So there you go. That's the way my luck runs. Um, yeah. Some bitch. So that's not the problem. So now I need to go through and start checking the, uh, I guess the resistors and the other chips on it. I don't know. These are all going to get swapped out anyhow. There's some wondrous custom wiring job that's been done to them that I can't even figure out. So, all right. That's how my luck goes in the pinball world. I post these videos so that other people struggling to learn how to do this can see they're not alone in their struggles. And yeah, sometimes it just sucks and things don't go like you want. So, there you have it. You know, she runs though. She is a runner. I'll post a video of it at a later date showing gameplay.